Hello, it's Professor Seagraves. Got a couple of questions I've gotten from a student uh, how to do a couple of basic calculations. First is how to calculate the tax savings from depreciation. And we're going to look at a quick example here and we'll look at how to do it in Excel and how to do it on the calculator. And this is a real basic one. Uh, first, we have a, a building worth 1.7 million bucks, $1,775,000. We've estimated that 12% of that value is land that may come from the tax assessor or your own calculations. And because it's a residential building, the depreciation um, allowance is uh, you can appreciate over 27 and a half years. If it were any other type of commercial property, it would be 39 years. But since it's residential, it's 27 and a half years. And our tax rate is 35%. So in Excel, we're simply going to multiply the value of the land times one minus of uh, the value of the property times one minus the land to get the amount we can depreciate and so we're going to depreciate 88 percent so we'll multiply the 1.775 million dollars times one minus the 12 percent and that gives us the value of the improvement to the building we'll then divide that value out by the 27 and a half years which we have here which is this b3 and then that total we will then multiply it by our tax savings, our 35% tax savings. So our savings on an annual basis will be uh, 19880 And to calculate that on the calculator, we'll simply put 1775000 times 0.88 is going to give us uh, this number here, $1.562 million. And we'll divide that by 27.5. And that gives us 56,800. And we'll multiply that times 0.35. And we get our 19,880. Okay, and we can see the same number here in Excel. Real quick and easy. Just takes uh, maybe 30 seconds to do that calculation. And we'll go ahead and clear that one out. <coughs> and the next one is we're going to estimate the cap rate for our new building based on these three comps uh, that we have here. Professor. Street, Graduate Street, and Lawyer Road, um, and we are going Professor Avenue. Put that a little part wider so we can see that. And um, Graduate Street and Lawyer Road. Well, Professor Avenue sold for four million. Graduate Street twenty one sixty and four million on this other property. And we have rents and operating expenses. Well, the cap rate is simply going to be our our um, NOI divided by our sales price, and NOI is going to be gross rents minus operating expenses. So first we'll calculate the gross rent operating expenses for this first building and divide that by the sale price. So we'll have our 830 minus our 530, it's going to be obviously 300,000. 300,000. And we'll just divide that by our 4 million. And that gives us um, uh, 0 0.08. Now that is uh, right now, that is, we're only showing two significant digits here in our uh, calculator. So if I hit second and we hit format, I can make my decibels now four places. And if I hit enter, now we can see that. And if I, uh, oops, now if I go back to my regular calculation and do that again, 300,000 divided by my 4 million. Now we can see 0.075. You want to make sure you have the right number of digits showing on your calculator before you do these calculations unless you're going to keep them in the memory of the calculator. So we might on a piece of scrap paper write that 7.5. That's the cap rate for this particular building. And now let's figure up the NOI for the second building. And that's going to be our 302. $302,000. We're going to subtract our $157,500. And we are going to get our $144,500. And we're just going to divide that into our $2,160,000. $2,160,000. Whoops. I forgot to hit the divide by symbol. Let's do that again. $302,000. Minus 
equals, and then we're going to now we're going to divide by 2160, and we get 0 0.0669, and I've just shortened that to 6.7 percent. You may want to go ahead and write down the full digits there on a scrap piece of paper, and we'll clear again, and we'll do the last one, 581 minus our 320. gives us our, oops, I must have keyed something in wrong there, we'll clear that out again, 581 minus our 320, there we go, 260,500, we're going to divide that by our 4 million sale price for this building, and that gives us 0.0651 as a cap rate. And now the cap rate that we'll use for our for our building that we'll use to estimate the value of our building, we'll just use that six point the average of these numbers. So the seven point five plus the six point seven plus the six point five divided by three is going to be six point nine. So we'll just do 